Yo, this is Go Crashing Finale. Subscribe to me up there, like down there, comment down there. And this is my 50th video because I really want to do what the subscribers like. I'm going to be helping them out today by offering them my top 10 recommendations of rest other wrestling reviewers to subscribe to. And I hope that this will um, improve your. I don't want to sound gay. You know, you know what I'm trying to say here. It, when you get on YouTube, you'll find better videos. Yes, yeah, so subscribe to me up there. Um, also, another thing I'm doing just before I start for my subscribers and viewers is my fantasy league game, which will be starting. The day after WrestleMania, but the draft is the day before WrestleMania. If you're interested in that, comment below. If you want more details, look at the WWE Fantasy League video on my channel. Okay? Right, so now I've got that out of the way. Um, so, number 15. Not number 15, number 10, sorry. Is X... B A three two five. All these links will appear below. By the way, I might have got them a bit wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are right. But I'll get the links right for you. Um, so X B M three two five. He knows what he's talking about. He's um. The one reason why he's not high on this list, and I'm trying to give constructive criticism, is because I find it quite hard sometimes to understand um, hear kind of what he's saying. The audio quality on his videos isn't very good. But apart from that, he knows what he's talking about if you listen to it carefully. And... Um, he has like a trademark entrance to his um, videos when he opens up the Pepsi can, which is quite innovative. Um, yeah, so check him out. Next, number nine is a good friend of mine on YouTube, and that is Tej41694. He subscribed to me, and he said, oh, can you sub subscribe back? And I did that. If you subscribe to me and you tell me to subscribe back, I'll definitely do that for you. Um, he um, he's he does a lot of videos. If you're interested in seeing a lot of videos, he does. I think he's done 120 videos in the last eight months, which is quite a lot. If you look at things. Um, and the videos are good quality as well. Um, I really liked his video when he got his WrestleMania tickets and he went through um, all the stuff where he would be sitting at this year's WrestleMania. I just I was just interested in that and the WrestleMania packet or pack travel pack and what's in it. I just found that interesting. His reviews are good. Number nine. Number eight, Rustling King, and in this Rustling King was the first person I watched on um, YouTube as a subscriber. So I've been watching him the longest. He doesn't do as many reviews as he normally does. He not he did before when I started watching him, and that would put him higher up on the list. But he knows what he's talking about. He's he's funny. He's um, his videos are entertaining. He he like he gets the viewers in, involved a lot. Like there'd be a password in each thing, and you've got to work out. He won't tell you if there's a password or not. And if you get the password, you get a shout out, things like that. I like to get my viewers involved, but um, yeah, he's good. Check him out. Next, number seven. Seven. Um, 
gurus of greatness. Now these guys could be better up in the list, but they only just started a month ago. Now this involves right. I'm gonna try and see if I know my knowledge here. Wrestling. No, sorry. This involves Mitch from Wrestling Gurus. Um, Ace Wrestling Corner. Dashing Kevin Walsh and Stone Cold RKO. Tell me if I'm right. Um, they know what they're talking about. They're all young subscribers around my age. Um, they all dress up in suits, which is quite funny. Um, they know. They know. They know what they're talking about. Um, their videos are quite humorous. Um, yeah, check them out. My number six is probably the most controversial wrestling reviewer. And you don't, nearly everyone knows who this person is. And that is Spinnerett. And I'm pretty sure there's a number after it. Um, <coughs> two, four, something. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got back off. Um, yeah, he's um, he knows a lot about wrestling. His videos very good. Um, reason I I don't know, but people not a lot. A lot of people unsubscribed him and gave him stick when he did that ask for the money. But I am definitely on Spinnerette's side. Because Spinnerette really helped me get... He doubled my subscribers from liking my Why The Miz Would Beat John Cena at WrestleMania 27. That helped me double my subscribers. So I'm very thankful for him. So I'm definitely not going to be slagging off. Spinner net. Number five, and this really pains me to say this because overall I enjoy these videos the most. But the problem is, you might be thinking, why is it not number one? The problem is, it's because they don't know much about wrestling because they don't watch any of these shows and they hardly ever do any videos now. And that's so man and the shame. But subscribe to them because they'll most probably do one for WrestleMania. I can't really see them not doing it. They haven't done one since Survivor Series. And they do basically the major ones. And they basically just take the piss out of everyone. They have nicknames for everyone. Um... <laughs> Really funny their videos. Really, I would definitely subscribe to Soul Man in the Shame. Number four. Now this could be number one for people who grew up early nineties, eighties, because these wrestling roundtable mainly talk about things in the eighties and the nineties, early nineties, and. They really know their stuff. The these people that they, they do movies on wrestling and stuff like that. They're in professional wrestling, and they definitely know what they're talking about. You've got you even if you're our age, I would still check it out because they know what they're talking about. And also, if you like UFC, MMA, you these are definitely the people to. Subscribe to. I would subscribe to all of them, but all these people, but you know. Number three, the wrestling gurus. Now, Mitch and Jared, I think that's their names, from Canada. They're really <laughs> entertaining to watch. They know what they're talking about. Um, they do a lot of videos. There's not much else I can say. They're really definitely subscribed to them from Canada. Um, and he also, they do 
special causes, like he did the stop bullying thing for for um, video when he got all his subscribers to get involved. And I like it when people get their subscribers to get involved. So I thought this was good, and it was for a worthwhile cause. So that as well. Now, number two is PS2 Peter, who I believe could be number one if he isn't wasn't in Scotland. <coughs> now, if people follow PS2 Peter, you might be thinking, well, he doesn't do wrestling reviews anymore. He stopped in January, and on his channel... I looked today, it said that he will have his laptop back in April, which is next month, and he'll start doing videos again. So, definitely subscribe to him. He's charismatic, He's he really loves wrestling, he gets his point across, he's really funny, the way he does it, um, makes really good jokes, he's a good Brett, really got to check him out. And number one is Max Sports, which is the Pro Wrestling Report. Now, this is a professional television show about wrestling. These people know what they're talking about. It's David. <coughs> They're really entertaining to watch as well. Um, there's um, oh gosh, I had their names there before. Was David Del Hero. Well, he calls him David Del Hero, and he likes Alberto Del Rio, and he sometimes comes out as Alberto Del Rio. It's really entertaining. They know what they're talking about. You can get involved on Facebook, Twitter, everything. It's a massive promotion. It's on ESPN. Radio, ESPN, Blog Talk, Primetime TV. Definitely check them out. So subscribe to me up there. Look at the links down there. Subscribe to those people down there as well. <coughs> and before I go, I just want to ask anyone if they're going to, if they are going to the London O2 for Raw or Smackdown, or if they have been in the past, please tell me below. Thank you, and peace out.